Hey everyone, welcome back to Coded Row. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to retarget your Cinti assets for Unreal Engine. Now, Cinti's has been making some version two of their character to match the UE skeleton, but not all the packs have been updated yet. So I'll be sticking with this UE5 Cinti retargeter that TC Mave has made in order to just do it easier. And it is a good fix for now. So what I'm going to do first is go to this Google Drive link, and that's in the description below. And then I'll hit this three dot for the UE5 Cinti rig and download. And now that that's done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and just extract this. And when it's extracted, I'm just going to go ahead and open this project and I'll do it for 5.4. So I just want to migrate that project into this ultimate ACF ultimate pack. So I'm going to right click on content, hit migrate, click OK. And then I'll just paste where my other content folder is for my ACF ultimate project. And now after it's done extracting, You'll see that it imports the files here. So it'll say Cinti Polygon Unreal, ABP Cinti, which has this retarget pose from mesh. And in my ultimate map in the selected game mode, I'm just going to go over to my, AC, my ACF ultimate player, double click on this. And now I'll scroll down to my skeletal mesh and I'll change it to Cinti. And then I will change the anim class to ABP Cinti. And now when you hit play, you're going to see that your Cinti character is working exactly like that mannequin. The weapons are in a weird place and that's because the Cinti bone does not have the correct sockets. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Cinti skeleton and the ACF one. So if I just go to the SKM mini, which is under the ACF folder, ACF framework folder, double click it, and then I'll select the skeleton. Now, all I want to do is just leave the skeletons open and I'm just going to copy paste the sockets as much as I can. And if they're not in the same spine, it may not copy over. I haven't tested this in Unreal Engine 5.4. So yeah, I guess same issue. Um, because I'm copying it onto a Spine 03, and this is from Spine 05, it won't copy paste over. So I'm just going to have to drag this to my Spine 3, one at a time. I'll copy over the root socket. And you'll see that this is hand underscore L. And I have the same naming convention over here. So if I just go ahead and paste that, it'll all paste just fine. Same thing for my hand underscore right. And I'll go ahead and hit save. And now when I go ahead and click play, it still might look a little wonky because I haven't adjusted the sockets, but actually this looks pretty good, but the weapons are backwards. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that. And now on my Cinti skeleton, you can go ahead and right click and then add a preview asset. I'm just going to type in sword and it is exactly how it was lined up in the preview. So I'm just going to twist this around, make sure it's correct. I'll leave the shield like this. And if you have a lot of preview assets, you can just right click any of them and click remove all attached assets. It'll get rid of all of them. And now if I were to hit play and put out my swords, you'll see that they're in the appropriate hands or in the appropriate directions. Now, another one you'll notice is that the bow is not aligning properly with my character. So if I go to the side, you'll see that the string isn't where it is. The arrow is not pointing in the right direction and the bow is sideways. <laughs> And it looks like the string is actually being pulled from the side. So what I can do, so I'm just going to hit pause. I'm going to click F8 to go out of my character and hit pause. And what I can do here is go over to my skeleton and play around with the bow. So now what I'm going to do is just add my preview sockets. So I'll add bow here. And the reason why I paused it was because it is because it doesn't just stay holding on forever. It does. The bow eventually does release the arrow and what I'm going to do for that is so I'll see if I can fix up as much as I can and then I'll hit save so the skeleton updates and then I will advance a single frame so you'll see that the bow actually moved in the direction I don't want it so let me just try what if I did something like this which way would it go all right so this looks pretty good for the bow now I need to move the arrow and now under my hand right I'll be able to attach an arrow socket and add a preview mesh to it all right, so after adjusting it for quite a bit, this looks pretty fine to me. So I'm just gonna hit save, and then I'll hit F8 again to go back into my character, and stop. I've gone ahead and imported, I've gone ahead and imported the Fantasy Kingdoms pack by Cinti, and now what I'm gonna do is go over to my Fantasy Kingdom folder, meshes and characters, and now all I need to do is just right click all the skeletal meshes or I'll just do it with I'll just do it for one for now and then I will assign it to the current skeleton that I'm using or I'll actually 
So I'll assign it to the Ascent Combat Framework SKM Mini. Oh, wait, no. So I'll just assign it to my current skeleton. So if I right click or if I open this blueprint, go to my Sinti Polygon dude, go over to my skeleton and hit Control B. I'll find this. I'll click F2 and just copy paste the name. And then I'll go back to my character folder and let's do the soldier and the mage as an example. And then I'll right click, assign skeleton, and I'll just search for this. And I'll, it'll show the currently selected and the target skeleton bone name. And since the names are matching, it's perfectly fine. So I'll hit add, and then I'll do the same thing. So now, so I've only done it for these two. And now what I need to do is if I wanted to change my character, for example, I can change this from that blue looking skeletal mesh to one of these guys. So let's do it for the soldier underscore mail 01. And I'll hit compile and save. And now if I hit play, you'll see that the soldier Sinti character works just fine. Exactly how my blue character works. And this makes it good for AIs or NPCs. So in order to create the AI, I just went to my full sample folder, blueprints, characters, enemies, and then I just click ACF full enemy BP, duplicated it, and I'll just do something like AAAA, double click it. And under my mesh component, I'm just gonna add another skeletal mesh, and then I'll select some random Sinti character and select that Sinti animation blueprint. And for the mesh, I'm just gonna set the material to transparent. And now I'll go ahead and just drag this over here and I'll hit play. Now you'll see that this guy just is acting like your regular AI. And of course, I'm not seeing hit reactions right now. So when you go to your ACF statistics component, you're going to see the stat called equilibrium under your statistics. And you'll see that it regens quite quick. If I were to delete this, compile and save, now my character is going to take attack reactions every single time I get hit. So you'll see that on the first hit, my character is starting to react. Whereas if I just undid that change and added it back, compile, save, and hit play, this character wouldn't have enough power to really get me out of that state unless he attacks me consecutively multiple times really quick. But yeah, that's pretty much all for now. That's pretty much how you set up your Sinti characters, get the AI up and working, and now you can make your entire world using Sinti assets. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to Code with Row. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see next, and see you in the next video.